Hey everybody, um, it's AJ again. This is the third of the three videos uh, about the Arduino starter kit. Um, so I did the unboxing, I built a project, and now I want to do a quick little review. Um, the goods and the bads, my overall thoughts and everything. Um, I'll start with the good stuff first. Um, the Arduino Projects book, um, it's laid out really, really well. Um, it has, it explains the code, it explains what you're doing. Um, it has, you know, really good illustrations and it has the schematic so you can start to get familiar with that and not just, uh, you know, the, the picture or drawings. Um, it covers a little bit of theory and it explains, like, why you're doing things and it, it's really great. The projects are interesting uh, enough to where you're going to want to build them, but also you'll be learning exactly, like, what you're doing, why you're doing it. And then that way when you want to do something that's not in the book, you'll know exactly how to do it um, or at least have, like, a really good idea of how to do it. Um, Second, the, um, I really liked the way that they had um, the board layout here. So you can see in the back where some of the parts were laser cut out for different projects. Um, but then they include some screws to fix the Arduino down, and then the breadboard is uh, sticky backed. So it's nice having everything laid out here right next to each other, so you don't have to worry about the Arduino moving too far away from the breadboard and yanking out wires. And it's just overall nice to have a little platform, and it's raised up a little bit. You can see the feet, so, um, so you have room under there. Nothing's bottoming out on the table. Um, and it's good sometimes if you're working on a wood table. Um, like, I covered the bottom of my Arduino in uh, electrical tape so that it doesn't uh, short out if I'm ever working on a metal surface. So this kind of gets rid of that problem. Um, another thing I was really impressed with were um, all the little the details. So. You can see I used this one in my project, actually. Um, it's a tiny little gel holder, um, laser cut for, for this project in particular, and there's some other laser cut pieces uh, and printed pieces for the projects, and I thought that, that attention to detail was great. Um, the only thing that I see as a negative with the kit, um, and again, this might be preference, so the jumpers that they give you are, um, are solid core wire, and um, you, you know when they bend, they just you know, they bend, and it's not a big deal to straighten it back out or anything, but um, I really prefer um, the stranded jumpers, and they also have a little spot here um, that's easy to grab on and push into the breadboard. When you first get the breadboards, um, they're a little bit hard to get the wire into, um, and that goes away over time and use and stuff, but I just, I prefer these ones. It's really easy to, uh, to just press right in. And then you can run them anywhere you want. And they do have them in different lengths and everything. So that's mostly just a preference thing. Um, I don't really like using just the solid jumper wires. And these, uh, the packages of the stranded um, jumper wire like this, you can get on all the, all the DIY sites. And it's only a few bucks. So overall, um, I think the, the whole kit is really great. Um, the price point around, I think it's going to be around $120, I think is a really good value considering everything that you get. I mean, the, like I said, the book, I think the project book is definitely one of the strongest things in this kit. It's got, it, it's just great. I can't say enough good things about it. Um, and overall, I think it's, it's a really good kit. It has everything you need. You can go through the projects. You're not going to be, you know, running to the store or having to figure out how to make some aspect of the kit. And I think it's great. And thanks for watching.